Hello, in this presentation, we're going to talk about a new feature within QuickBooks Pro 2018, that being multi-monitor support. In essence, allowing us to have two monitors within QuickBooks, having dual monitors. And in order to set that up, you do need to have two monitors set up on the computer, meaning you physically have two monitors that are set up within the computer and you could switch back and forth from the screens to the two monitors once that is set up then QuickBooks now allows us within 2018 in QuickBooks Pro to put information on one monitor and put different information on the other monitor within the same QuickBook file within the same QuickBooks program. And I think we could see a lot of potential when we have this type of ability, that being that we can have, for example, information on this side where we're entering data and possibly information on this side where we are receiving the data even within the same report for example we might have a check register over here and we might have some data a bill over here helping us to enter the data both those things within the quickbooks program but now being allowed to be displayed on different screens so we can see them at the same time we also might have over here a balance sheet let's say and then over here we have the transaction report or we might have over here something like a bank reconciliation and then on this side, we might have the uh, check register to go through and verify some of the stuff within the bank reconciliation. We could just have the balance sheet on this side and the income statement on this side. A lot of, lot of opportunities, a lot of potential here. So we're going to see how this is going to be set up, set up very easily. Once we have the dual screen set up physically, it's easy to set up QuickBooks then to use those two, two screens. We will be working with this data program and in order to set this up all we need to do is go up to the view tab and we're going to go to switch to multiple uh, monitor mode. You can also select control alt delete so if you're going back and forth between multi monitor and one that'll be a nice shortcut to have. Once I select this I'm going to try to capture the entire screen so the, the size will go down. But we'll try to see what we can do within the screen capture in order to see what can be done with two screens here. When you first set this up, you will get an option to set up two or three screens. So it is possible to set this up with not only two screens, but have the three screens to be set up. I believe that is the limitation. You can have two or three screens within this screen uh, sharing option. Here we are in the multi-screen mode. So I have two screens open here. This is going to be on this side. I have the home tab and on this side we have a blank tab. These are two separate screens now within the screen capture. And let's just see a couple things we might want to do with this to see how this can work. Uh, if we go to say the balance sheet or the uh, let's put the balance sheet on this side. I just have some open windows over here. We've got the balance sheet here and let's say we want the income statement on the other side. We could, of course, just drag it over there. We could take this income statement, drag it to this side, and then snap it on this side of the screen. That's on a totally different uh, screen. Snap this side on this screen, and now we can see our reports side by side. We can demonstrate our reports side by side. The other way we could have moved that, I'm going to move this back over. And if we snap this back here, the other way we can move it very quickly is to use this item here. There's this new icon that will be right at the top of the reports. If we select that, it'll just move it right over to the other side. We could uh, have it full window or not full window as always. And then if we make it maximize it within the QuickBooks screen, it'll snap it just to the screen that we are typically on so that we can get an easy comparison uh, between these two screens. Uh, some other options here, of course, is if we wanted to say we want to drill down this checking account. What if we wanted to double click on this checking account and it, it actually opened up in the other screen? <laughs> but here's the, here's the detail there. And we might want to snap that to the other screen and have that open. We may want to compare some of this detail within the transaction report to, say, the uh, checking account, the general ledger, and have this open on this side and work through some of our data see if we can take and tie some of this information to uh, our transaction report, the 15 and the 15, the 360 and the 360, and take and tie some things out. So there's a lot of options here. This could save a lot of time to have something like this uh, set up within QuickBooks. 
Note how the screen share will work. It typically works. It'll basically always work that we're going to have the, the main screen on the left hand side. So when you open it up, when you go to the full screen, it basically just opens across the two windows. However, instead of just extending the screen so you can move this around between the two windows, it also allows you to snap it on, on this side. So in essence, the program extends to the two windows. It works from left to right. So the left being your main screen, the right being the secondary screen. You can move these windows, uh, these screens around through the two windows, and you can also snap them in place within the two windows. And really it just gives you a lot more room for you to be working within the two windows, to be having two things open at the same time to either display them to someone else, to check your work, or to help you with the data input.